I always feel like I'm just sort of at the edge of something and trying very hard to get a little further into it. Sometimes succeeding. Sometimes, I mean, it really is, it really is a game with your brain and with what you, what you remember. Um, I think it has something to do with the way we think about things, where we see things. We, we have vision and then we have memory and we can have them simultaneously. Um, and we can have multiple memories and we can have um, constructions that are entirely mental. It's kind of like, we, I feel like I'm, I'm sort of, I'm set down where I have access to these things and it's situations that are usually within a day's drive of where I live. And there are places that I love in the desert that are largely unpopulated for some reason, that's water and power. Um, there are sites that are made by mining for minerals during the Second World War, left behind changed uh, environments. Um, and then there's the overload of all of all the films that I grew up with and that, that we, we know of. Uh, guys with big hats and, and guns and uh, it's, yeah, it is peculiar, but it's like it's kind of taken for granted in a way, I guess. And I realize that, you know, in another culture it's, it's more exotic than it is to me. But, um, when I was uh, at the university, I spent some time just going through periodicals in the library, and quite randomly looking at just looking at whatever I could find, and I found a picture of Salvador Dali's um, *Persistence of Memory* in a, in a 1945 copy of, uh, I believe it was in *Life* magazine. And I remembered seeing that when I was very young. Maybe I was only three or four. I was just starting to look at things. And, and I remember seeing that picture and thinking, it's been quite a bit of time looking at it. And I hadn't thought about, uh, about when I had been introduced to it until I saw it in the library. And I, I remember being very, 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 very curious about what that was. Um, and to this day, I think that some of his work is, is among the most interesting painting to me. I've taken a fair amount of heat for saying that, but, uh, but it's, it's true. The way he, he, he was able to deal with phenomena in front of the screen that can be seen in two completely different ways, I don't think anybody else has ever done that quite as effectively. I like to combine images, and I and and, and I, I found that a, a practice that leads me to have three variables, maybe four or five, is a, is a good place to start. I mean, two you're just basically looking at two things, and three maybe, but when it gets up around four, you start getting really interesting accidents. If of course, it all depends on what you're choosing. Uh, I like to have a light box, and and if I have work film work prints, I can lay them out and and position them over one another and see how the lights and the darks add up. Horizontal boundaries is one that seems to hold up well for me. It's a film I worked on for about 10, 11 years, went through a lot of changes. I showed it uh, as a silent piece for a long time, I, various stages of making it. Had time to get familiar with it and have a sense of what was working and what wasn't. And, uh, gradually seeking out sound sources for it. and it has a lot of found sound sources, but the imagery is, is all stuff that I shot. Um,
it is a bit odd in that it deals with the frame line. Uh, it was all made in 35 millimeters, so we have four perforations that we can set the uh, film on. So one can have four different kinds of split screens. Um, and I, I improvised. I, I could stop the printer, change the registration, put it back on. Um, a way of fracturing the information, uh, watching to see how much remains of, of what you shot when you combine it with something else and, and change its, uh, its spatial position on the screen. Um, it consists of, I think, maybe nine separate sections that um, are made as, as, as single composites and then left intact and edited with pauses between them. I don't work from a script or, or even a graph or anything really. I, I collect pieces and edit them and uh, and then watch them for a time and, uh, uh, and then sometimes re-edit and go back and composite them again if, if need be. Um, particularly where I come from where there's a lot of people are involved in the industry, industrial film. Uh, I tell them I make uh, art objects that happen to be film. It's not a satisfactory answer to most people because, I mean, we have a very small community that watches experimental work. Three the hours and hours and we waited. Front yeah. windows in the darkened house and we waited. Front yeah, windows in the darkened house and we waited. 